So apparently, oh sorry guys. So apparently my Old Spice commercial parody actually made it on World Star. And of course there's a bunch of hate. I mean, what's a World Star video comment section without a bunch of hate? I mean, I even found some of the comments that were hating to be funny, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I couldn't possibly put something on a place like World Star and expect to not get cyberbullied. Come on now. All you guys that were supporting me with that video and sharing it around and spreading it like wildfire and whatnot and helping me to put it on World Star, thank you guys for that. You guys are my true supporters, all those people that are always sharing my content and always telling your friends about me. And you guys are really the ones that help my channel grow. Honestly, I entertain you people, but if it wasn't for you watching, I wouldn't have the motivation to do this all the time. Sorry if my lips are kind of blue, but it's really cold in this room because there's actually a hurricane outside. Right now, it's a little bit calm, so I had the chance to make a video since there's not so much wind. Probably looking at me right now and saying, who gives a fuck if your lips are blue? Well, apparently, the people on World Star do. The Old Spice video that I made was obviously meant to be funny. It was made for people to laugh at me, you know what I'm saying? To laugh at the stupid shit that I was saying. It was just pure comedy. There was no message to it. I'm not up there posing as a fucking model or some shit. I'm not trying to look cute for you guys. It was for you guys to freaking laugh. You know, I know a lot of people like to make those little unoriginal bird chest jokes. But there were actually jokes that were funny to me there, so I was just laughing at the comment section. But then again, you got people that actually took shit personally there and were saying, Oh, why is everyone saying he's funny and he's cute? He's skinny and his abs look weird. This nigga needs to go eat. Wow, fucking insecure much? And then we got guys that claim to be straight pointing out every small flaw on my body. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry for not making it clear enough in my video that I was not posing for a fucking beauty pageant and that it was for the sake of pure comedy. I thought that was obvious. I'm sorry for assuming that humanity actually had the intelligence to comprehend that. All of you saying that I starve myself or I have malnutrition need to get fucking educated. You know, there's such a thing as an ectomorph, which is what I am. I actually eat a fucking lot. And I made a video about this, so I'm not going to go on about this shit. But pretty much what an ectomorph is, they eat and eat and eat, but their body metabolizes things very fast, and their body seems to gear more into breaking down fat and muscle. So they appear to be very skinny, and they're usually very lightweight. People with this body type actually have the upper hand in some sports, so you can't say that these people are automatically unhealthy for being an ectomorph. These kind of people are good swimmers, or good runners and track, etc. No, it didn't even offend me that people were calling me skinny and shit because it wasn't fucking news to me. I know I have a puny chest. And? What the fuck is your point here? Did I say I was tough? Did I say I was brawlic? No! Whether I was fat or skinny, whatever. I could look like fucking Taylor Lautner up there and you guys would still find something to point out and hate at. So, this shit doesn't really phase me. I have plenty of people that support me and I put smiles on people's faces after they have a bad day at work or a bad day at school. So all of that little petty shit like, oh, your abs look funny, or oh, you're skinny as fuck, oh, you look like a little kid, doesn't faze me at all. You know, I'm not gonna say any names or anything, because I don't want anyone going over to him and saying hate comments and shit. But the particular comment on World Star Hip Hop really struck me to make this video. And it was a boy that said, wow, this is ridiculous. This kid looks like he weighs as much as me, but my body looks so much better than his, and I'm 16. I'm just sitting there like, okay, do you want a fucking medal? You're sitting there and ruining the fucking joke for yourself. Instead of enjoying the video, you're sitting there criticizing how my body looks. Well, that obviously was not the point of the video at all. People that are saying I'm so skinny and I have a bird chest, does it make you feel better about yourself? Does this tame the insecurities that ate your tiny little poor heart? If any of you are wondering, I'm 16 as well. Um, I know a lot of people were saying that I look young and that I wasn't a grown man and people actually noticed that, you know what I'm saying? No, it's not fucking Photoshop or some weird special effects, that was actually my body. The reason why I made this video was not because I was offended by these comments, but really because it saddens me that people actually took my video personally as if my video was attacking their insecurities. Oh, so I have no life because I'm up here doing videos, which take me about 10 minutes out of my fucking day. But you're sitting there taking time to comment and view a video and comment hate on it. What does that do for you, sir? What does that do for you to say that your body looks better than mine and you're the same weight as me 
and the same age. What does that do for you, sir? Tell me, please. What are you trying to prove? Okay, your body's better than mine. What the fucking do? You just got yourself an award. Again, I know there were jokes there that were actually meant to be jokes. There were obviously jokes like, Oh, this bird chest ass nigga. Or, Oh, this nigga looks like some dude from Ethiopia starving from hunger. Those kind of comments actually made me laugh. You know, I have a sense of humor. Those kind of things don't really offend me. I don't get offended by shit like that. But when you sit there and tell someone that you're the same age and the same weight and your body is better than theirs, it really saddens me that that's how people raise their self-esteem nowadays. <laughs> if, you were if you were very secure in how your body looked, then you wouldn't go out and try to fucking analyze pe other people's bodies to try to compare yours to theirs. But you know, everyone has their insecurities, and I can deal with hate and all that. I mean, if you're gonna be on YouTube, honestly, you have to be able to deal with hate. If you're gonna put yourself out there like that, the way I did, you have to be able to deal with any kind of feedback, honestly. So I don't really care if that helps your soul, if that helps your spirit deep down inside, and it makes you feel like a better person, or it makes you feel less insecure about your body by coming and criticizing mine and every little detail, then by all means, um, go ahead and do that, I guess. Don't get mad when other people call you out on it and say that you look like a complete fucking dumbass, though. Everyone that thinks, oh, this kid is gonna go commit suicide. Yay, we're bullying him so much. We're giving so many hate comments. I hope he sees this so he can hang himself. Well, do the opinions of other people make me want to commit suicide and make me feel bad? Well, honestly, I don't give a fuck what you think. Now get the fuck out of here.